you know, you you might not. Uh, who who would think that somebody could actually make a living bullying? A 1% motorcycle club nation. Like, is that possible? Like, a person could actually make a living bullying or persecuting a motorcycle club. Like, where can that happen at? Uh, and not just a motorcycle club, but a 1% a motorcycle club. But that's just exactly what's happening. And... This, this guy has made a living um, exposing, talking about, uh, defiling, if you will, uh, the reputation of one single 1% of motorcycle club. Every single solitary month, he's on talking about this one club. Uh, on somebody's channel somewhere. I I I never, I never thought a person could do that. This Ken Croak is at it again. Uh, on about the pagans, and I don't know. I until I started kind of like following. Uh, you know, I'm always looking for biker news, and every couple of days I see some kind of biker news, and uh. At least once a month, there's a major story and a major article about this guy. This time, uh, a major story and a major article in a major newspaper. This time, the the Daily Star. And um, I'm just like, wow. Now, it's an interesting topic, but it, it's like he it just keeps poking the bear. Just keeps poking it. Very interesting, if you ask me. We're going to look at it, uh, and get into it after this, uh, brief introduction. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll be right back. Swoosh. Swoosh. I just love my swooshes. Uh, morning, folks. I'm Black Dragon. Welcome to another edition of Black Dragon Biker News Network. Biker news you can trust. I'm Black Dragon. And once again, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in from wherever it is in the world that you happen to be. And um, let's see here. This, this, uh, can we? Can we share that page, guys? Appreciate that. Uh, this is the story of the un this guy. I was an undercover, uh, I guess agent, but it says I was an under I was undercover in biker gang whose intimate greeting is gross but can be deadly. Huh. Interesting. Oh, I see you, uh, Lubis. How you doing, man? Much love over there in uh, Brazil. Love you, man. I was undercover in a biker gang. It doesn't say I. I was undercover in biker gang. 
uh, instead it doesn't say I was undercover in biker gang whose intimate greeting is gross but can be deadly. I mean, one thing after another with this guy about this club. If you, if, if, now, the last several ones I've seen, the most racist gang in America is, is one I remember seeing. He did that one not too long ago. Um, I, I've seen so many of these from this guy. I, I, is it him or is it just the people who are creating the titles that I'm sure he doesn't create the headlines, but m- maybe he does. I was in an under, I was undercover in a biker gang whose intimate greeting is gross, but can be deadly. One thing after another, one sensational thing after another. So now they have a deadly but intimate greeting that you should know about. Each thing to sell this book, um, which is called Riding with Evil. I remember this, the name of that book, Riding with Evil. I guess if you've ridden with evil, uh, I guess they got an intimate but deadly greeting. Like, I'm sure Satan has an intimate but deadly greeting. What, <laughs> what does he do? <laughs> uh, bend you over and, and, and when he sees you or something? This is, this, is, this is absolutely crazy. Uh, anyway. Let's look at it. Ken Croak witnessed unspeakable violence. <laughs> what the hell is unspeakable violence? Violence so 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 horrible you can't speak about it. I I didn't think motorcycle clubs were out there doing unspeakable violence, but hey, that they could be. Uh, while undercover with the pagans, they don't even spell pagans right. You you gotta you gotta be weary of somebody who can't spell the name right of the people they're talking about. I'm not gonna tell them how to spell it either. I was undercover with the pagans, but also discovered uh, uh, Ken Crook witnessed unspeakable violence while undercover with the pagans, but also discovered the ultra-violent biker gang had an intimate greeting they were all required to use. You know, in the press, we have a responsibility. Unspeakable violence, ultra-violent, and then somebody who's been reading this kind of shit uh, is now sitting on your court case somewhere and they've been fed a mountain of this kind of stuff Uh, I don't know why they don't sue the guy but I don't uh, maybe you can't I don't know but uh, yeah anyway there's a picture from my listening audience there's a picture of uh, some pagans riding in a uh, two by two down the highway uh, in a small group it looks like about 25 motorcycles or so. Side by side, that's how bike clubs ride. Uh, and it goes on to say in the caption underneath it, members of the Pagans Motorcycle Club kiss each other on the lips when greeting. Ken Croak, a cop who went undercover in the world's most dangerous biker gang. The world's most dangerous biker gang. Now, they have that in quotation, so that must mean he must have said it. That's what quotations typically mean. Revealed that members have a very intimate way of greeting each other. Requ- uh, retired Bureau of Alcohol and Tobacco Firearms and Explosive Agent, ATF agent, Ken Croak, busted over 20 members of the Pagans Motorcycle Club after he spent two years infiltrating the infamous Outlaw Club. Croak befriended the most criminally insane. Jesus! Criminally insane, unspeakable violence, ultra violent. These are the words all in quotation marks. Most world's most dangerous biker gang. Most dangerous. Criminally insane. Members of the notoriously violent gang 
in big red letters under the false persona of SLAM, a monstrous axe-wielding, axe-handle-wielding enforcer dedicated to protecting the mother club. Well, it sounds like, this sounds like, like you're reading a movie or something. Befriended the most criminally insane members of the notoriously violent gang under the false persona of SLAM, a monstrous axe handle wielding enforcer dedicated to protecting the mother club. Here's another one he wrote. I was undercover in a brutal Nazi biker gang, but dodged getting gang tattoos with a clever lie. This is the baddest dude on earth. This the dude. Huh. During the wild undercover operation, the wild undercover operation, which he detailed in his book, Riding with Evil, taking down the notorious pagan motorcycle gang. I'm here to tell you, they ain't been took down. They're still out there riding, never hiding. They ain't been took down. But anyway, the book says, taking down the notorious pagan motorcycle gang, Crook played witness to unspeakable violence, a culture of white super. Uh, super Super, supremus, super, oh, white supremacism. I've never heard it said like that. I've always heard white supremacy. I've never heard white supremacism. Uh, I looked that up. Is that like really a, oh, it is. White supremacism is the belief that a certain group is superior. Oh, it's the same thing as white supremacy. Uh, okay. They had me on that one. I, I don't think I've ever heard it used that way. Let's see. But how do they say it? Supremacy. No, that's supremacy. I'm looking for a supremacy, dude. Supremacy. Not that one. No result for white supremacy. Hmm. Anyway, they must mean white supremacy and disgusting rituals. But he also came across one surprisingly affectionate tradition the burly gang member had kissing each other on the lips. An affectionate tradition the burly gang members had kissing each other on the lips. So that's the affectionate greeting. They kiss each other on the lips, says he. Interesting. Croak was questioned about the greeting during an appearance on the Jordan Harbinger show. I remember reading in the book, this is a really cringe thing, that they all kiss each other on the lips as a greeting. Like, what the heck is that all about? Well, if you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. But anyway, he put it in his book. Uh, I remember reading that. It's so gross, the host asked him. Croak explained. It's an acceptable biker. It's an accepted biker tradition, you know. They all do it. And most will kiss on the lips. Some will kiss on the cheeks. It's hard, kind of hard to explain. But it is what it is. Harbinger clarified it wasn't men kissing that was gross, but rather what they were exposing each other to. I don't care about the dudes kissing each other on the lips. That's the least gross part. The part that's gross is these guys probably have hepatitis for the last 20 years from sharing needles and stuff, he said. Croak agreed, responding, yep, and a lot of them did and openly would tell you, I have hepatitis, and then be like, hey, by the way, you want to try my pasta? It's like, no, I'm pretty sure I'm all set, man. Thanks. The former agent revealed the kissing greeting was so risky, he even had to have a doctor testing him regularly. That's why I had a wonderful personal doctor who you know has every who who every opportunity was testing me for everything under the sun because you just never knew what you were being exposed to, he added. Hmm. From what I've read, 
His exposures to things didn't come from kissing and greeting people. But anyway. But sharing needles wasn't the only problem with Croak and Harbinger discussing how there were all sorts of disgusting things the members did that made you want to avoid kissing them. One of the least disgusting examples, aside from the violence, is the guy who found freshly born kittens and licked, and licked the blood off them, and he did so many worse things in the book, Harbinger said. Croak said the gang member known as Hogman was a vile human who had a blood fetish, Harbinger added. Well, what does that got to do with the whole damn club? Anyway, when you read the book, you'll understand. When, don't, it, it, when you read the book, that's all this is, is to push a damn book. When you read the book, you'll understand why you wouldn't want to kiss a guy like that on the lips. Besides the kitten thing, that was like the G-rated version compared to the stuff that was in the book. And you said there was stuff that didn't even make the book. He's not the only gross one in the pack, and that's for damn sure. Croak revealed the other members would even joke about how disgusting some of them were. There were there was one guy named Wiz, dude that had a lizard had lizard breath, and it was like nobody wanted to kiss him. Every time he was coming there, they were like, "Oh God, here comes Wiz!" So they would joke among themselves. He said, "But the gang strict rules meant all members had to use the traditional greeting, whether they liked it or not." He added, "It was still part of the culture." You had to do it, but nobody enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, what do you say? What do you say to this stuff? A- everything has an, a, a level of truth to it. There is a, uh, there is a tradition in uh, 1% nomenclature and other clubs that uh, men do kiss on the cheeks, some on the lips. Uh, it's not every, I mean, you, it's got to be somebody, it's, it's a special greeting. It, it ain't like all that over there that they're trying to say. That's, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> that, the, 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 the way, <sighs> and people believe this thing, man. They believe this stuff. The most vile, most vicious, criminally insane, most notoriously violent Nazi biker gang. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Well, hmm. that that is. I've had many pagans here at the Dragon's Lair. And uh, I never saw all, all that in that article. Uh, an article after article after article after article. I never met an insane one. <laughs> they, I mean, you, who do you, I mean, you don't know if anybody's insane or not, do you? Yeah, you kind of do. You look at them like, dude, you, you're insane. <laughs> You ain't, you ain't looking right. I, I just now noticing that you're kind of, uh, you're kind of insane looking to me. You just look insane as hell. I don't know about you. But for the most part, you can't tell if people are insane or anything. Well, my friends. <laughs> If I was this club and I met this guy out on the street somewhere, I would whoop his. And tear his book up, too, in front of him. Which I don't care what you do with my book after you bought it. You could tear it up all day long. Uh, Motorhead, <laughs> Luba said, <laughs> Luba said, we Brazilians are famous because we're very receptive and warm, <laughs> but ain't nobody kissing their brothers on the lips. 
It does happen. Uh, it, it does happen. I will tell you that. And the first time it happens to you, <laughs> this dude just kissed me on the lips. I, I don't know whether to fight or what. Uh, that was different. <laughs> it's a greeting that only deep bound old school brothers use. Tell them, Dean, kind of like a Maori greeting. Nothing wrong with it unless your bro slips a tongue. <laughs> then we got problems. <laughs> uh, no, Robert, I don't think you're blocked. Did you do something to get blocked? Did, I hope the. Uh, admins didn't block you. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, it's somebody said it's an old school '60s Godfather from Diamond Club would kiss on the cheek, but old school. I think it was a common greeting. Uh, yeah, it happens. Not not this. This is there's a sensationalism to everything, and that's what's going on here. <sighs> All right. 21 minutes. I hope you guys had a good time with me this morning. This is kind of, it's kind of laughable, but it's also kind of, I mean, it's really kind of sad. I mean, this stuff really does. It sells papers, it sells ads, but it really um, takes out the reputation. Uh, and you got to think a lot of voters and and people sitting in courtrooms on juries have read this kind of an article by the thousands, maybe the tens of thousands, maybe the hundreds of thousands, maybe by the millions, have read this kind of stuff. And this guy goes on and on and on. I guess, I, I mean, I don't know how many clubs he's infiltrated. Maybe this is the only one, but he goes on and on and on about how 20 people went to jail. But when you look at it, um, the, the, you know, for it to be the most notorious Nazi violently criminally insane motorcycle club like all the charges didn't even amount to like much of anything um and you would have thought that he would have got a whole hell of a lot more criminally insane violent crazy people than that uh no i guess he infiltrated another club here's one that says i infiltrated the hell's angels after getting shot days into the ATF job. Well, maybe he's infiltrated a lot of clubs. I'll, I'll do some research, find out more. I just be seeing these articles roll by and I just be like, wow. Must make a lot of money. Because they keep doing it. Anyway, that's it. That's my two cents. Love to hear your two cents in the comment section below. Uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check us out on our podcast, The Dragon's Lair, L-A-I-R, Motorcycle Chaos, The Dragon's Lair, L-A-I-R, Motorcycle Chaos. Um, and uh, make sure to check us out there. For people that are, like, driving down the road or whatever, you're in your 18-wheeler or whatnot, listen to us, hang out with us. Also, we have our online daily motorcycle newspaper, bikerliberty.com. And we have... Um, you know, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, all these social media outlets for thy to hang out with us. Appreciate y'all over there. Like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that super chat button. Drop us a couple bucks. We'd appreciate it. Or you can hit our cash app at dollar sign biker prez, P-R-E-Z. Support the channel, y'all. Support the channel. We could use it. Uh, my mother used to always tell me, you always know the truth when you hear it because the truth sounds familiar even if you've never heard it before you can recognize it when you when you uh when you hear it you know what i mean so keep that in mind as you are listening to things that sound kind of egregious the most criminally criminally violent, insane, unspeakable violence. I mean, that that's a lot. And you got to ask yourself why people would say such things. Does it sound intelligent? Like some of it 
could sound like really, really, really over the top. And if so, why would people be doing such a thing? <laughs> 